Hello, I'm Brian McKenzie. I teach critical skills. On behalf of myself and all my colleagues, welcome to Maynooth University. In this video, we'll explain what critical skills is as a subject, why you might consider taking it, and how you would go about taking it as a first year subject. So let's begin with talking about what critical skills is. Critical skills is a first year subject open to almost all first year students. It has two primary purposes. The first purpose of critical skills is to help students transition to third level and become confident, what are called autonomous learners. What this means is that we want to help you make the jump from second level to third level and help you become an independent learner, which is particularly important in this period of pandemical blended learning that we're in. So critical skills is going to help you navigate and transition into a complex bureaucracy. It, uh, we're going to help you learn about the resources and the supports that are available to you on campus. And crucially, we're going to help you apply all of these resources at your uh, disposal to your academic work to make sure you are really taking advantage of all of the supports and what's called information privileges that are available to first year students. So that's the first purpose of critical skills is to help with that transition to third level and to really help you gain confidence uh, as an independent learner. Now, the second key purpose of, of critical skills is to build communication skills. And in this respect, we're operating in sort of two different areas. One is written communication. The other is oral communication. And to this, we can now add a, a third area that overlaps or you know, we're Venn diagramming uh, the two, which is digital communication. So we find in critical skills that building communication skills in writing and public speaking in a digital context or in person context is crucially important for students, not only across the board academically, but also in your professional career going forward. And we work really hard in critical, critical skills to help students build those transferable skills that you'll be able to apply in your other disciplines and in a professional context. And we do this in critical skills because the research shows it's really, really important. And we're able to do it in critical skills because unlike almost any other subject you're gonna take at Maynooth University, critical skills focuses on process rather than content. So yes, it's crucial if you're studying biology uh, to learn the Krebs cycle. And I suspect you'll probably get an exam on that uh, a question, uh, an exam question on that at some point if you're doing biology. But it's also crucial that you learn new habits, good habits in terms of research and writing, because this is such an important transition for you. And we know that when students go through major transitions, second level to third level, you develop new habits. Critical skills is going to help you develop habits that are really strong habits, beneficial habits that will aid you in all of your other subjects. But let's hear from some of my colleagues about why they like teaching first year in critical skills and what they think the benefits are of teaching critical skills. Aneta, why don't you start? Hi, my name is Aneta and I specialize in literary and cultural studies. Teaching first year students is very rewarding and fun, especially seeing the students grow in confidence in their social interactions, but also academically. Today, it is very important to have strong communication skills, you know, being able to present your ideas in a coherent way, but also having strong digital skills to navigate in the ocean of information available um, and growing as a learner, developing a strong learner attitude to learn new programs, softwares. And joining critical skills gives you an opportunity to develop those skills. Thanks for that, Dr. Stepien. I couldn't agree with you more. Developing communication skills, 
both for in-person context and in a digital context is really one of the great benefits of taking critical skills. And it's something that you'll use and develop uh, throughout your academic and professional career. By the way, that's the um, Silk and Thomas Yew tree at Maynooth University. It's over 700 years old. Now, let's hear from Dr. Adrian Kerwin. My name is Adrian, and I'm an historian by training. I think for me, one of the most important aspects of the critical skills program is the information literacy portion. And what this does is it allows us to show students not just how to find information or how to judge what's a good versus what's a weak source for an academic uh, assignment, but to move past this and to show them how to properly read sources, how to critically analyze the various arguments and interpretations put forward by different authors on different topics. And this allows them then to formulate their own evidence-based argument and analysis of that topic. And this is an essential skill that you're going to use in academic writing. So be it essay writing, report writing, whatever happens to be, the ability to formulate your own evidence-based opinion on these topics is essential. And it's a skill that you're going to use throughout your academic studies from first year all the way through to postgraduate studies if you choose to do so. I think, it's a, so I think this is a really important aspect of what we do. Thanks for that, Dr. Kerwin. Information literacy is certainly something I would see as um, a benefit, uh, particularly in terms of its relevance for a student across the board academically. It'll, it'll be something that'll help you in all of your subjects. It'll transfer into your, your academic work across the board and into your, your professional life. By the way, I'm standing outside the National Science Museum here at Maynooth University. In there is the first induction coil. It was invented in 1836 by Nicholas Callan, who taught at uh, the seminary back then. Without the induction coil, there be no Ford focuses in Ireland. Now let's hear from Dr. Patricia Cattle. Hi, I'm Patricia and I specialise in the social sciences, specifically sociology. And I've been teaching first year undergraduates here at Maynooth University for many years, which I really love. As my colleagues have already pointed out, critical skills is specifically designed to help first year students transition to third level, whilst at the same time complementing and supporting interdisciplinary learning. What that means is, is that critical skills helps you acquire essential skills to support your learning and progression through university. So whether you're studying business, history, politics, finance, computer science, languages, psychology or sociology, the skill set acquired from taking critical skills will really enhance your learning and learning experiences. But more importantly, increase future employability. As junior scholars, you will be required to conduct research on some of the topics that you're studying and to complete various assignments which require strong information literacy skills, as my colleague Adrian pointed out. So for example, you could have an assignment that requires you to analyse the economic, political and social impacts of the current global pandemic, or even to critically evaluate celebrity culture and how this impacts on and shapes our identities. So in critical skills, we use innovative techniques to help you learn how to think critically, how to source and assess and evaluate information and effectively communicate evidence-based arguments, both in writing and verbally, on some of these complex problems and issues. So by taking critical skills, you will transition from being a consumer of knowledge to a producer of knowledge, enhance your learning and learning experiences and ultimately your outcomes. Thanks for that, Trish. What a great point you make about junior scholars. Speaking of which, I'm sitting outside the Maynooth University Library. As a student here, you'll have access to hundreds of thousands of texts through the library. In addition, the library offers lots of supports for academic research and writing, so be sure to become familiar with the resources it offers. Let's go hear from our final instructor, Jonathan. Hello, my name is Jonathan Brown, and I'm a critical skills tutor here at Maynooth University. As you've heard from my colleagues, critical skills was specifically designed to help students make that transition from second to third level. Now, it's not that third level is difficult, it's just third level is actually different. And we help students to negotiate that difference to become better learners. Also, the good thing about critical skills is our classes are small. That means students can make friends easier. And the whole social aspect of university life is very important because it helps students to settle down. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in first semester. Thank you. Thanks for that, Jonathan. I think your description really shows the, 
the great benefit of critical skills or the, the great sort of uh, nature of critical skills. And that is that if you take critical skills, you're, you're joining a, a supportive learning community. Uh, everyone in critical skills really cares about teaching, um, really finds it rewarding and is dedicated to uh, supporting first year students that attain academic success. So how does it work? Well, critical skills is 15 credits for the year. It's a full-blown academic subject. So it's optional. You don't have to take it. It's an optional subject. But if you do take it, it's one of your core subjects. So it's seven and a half credits each semester. To make this clear, we have the exact same academic standing of any other subject that you'd be taking. Chemistry, Spanish, history. Critical skills as a subject that you take is one of your core subjects. Typically, you'd have four subjects in first year. Critical skills can be one of your four, one of your four subjects. Now, to see if critical skills is an option for you, look in Course Finder, or you can look across the different timetable options when you register for courses. We're, we're available to about 90% of first year students. There's a few subjects you're in what's called, if you're in a, what's called a delineated degree, critical skills may not be an option for you, such as primary school teaching. But for the vast majority, 90% of first year students, if you want to take critical skills, it will be an option for you. And we offer it in all the timetable slots so that you can find a, an option that works for you. Now, the only other important thing to say about critical skills is it's a first year subject only. So you're going to drop it after first year. So you take four subjects as a first year art student, for example. You could take critical skills, history, geography, and Spanish. You have to drop two subjects going into second year. Critical skills is one of the subjects because we're only first year and Spanish or history might be the other subject that you might drop. So you drop two subjects and go with two subjects in the second year. So you have to drop critical skills. So if there's any downside to critical skills, the only thing is that you're going into second year with three subjects to pick from instead of four because you have to drop critical skills after first year. If you have any questions about how critical skills works, check out our website or email criticalskills at mu.ie. And once again, welcome to Maynooth University. Even in a time of pandemic, the university uh, years are going to be fantastic uh, and very rewarding. So welcome.